Good morning, friends. It is good to be with you. During these months, I have often wondered how many things we have forgotten from items to events to even people during the pandemic. When going into a grocery store, I have remembered my mask, but I have forgotten my wallet. When scheduling an oil change, I have noticed that my safety inspection sticker was three months overdue. When visiting with a friend I shared in our conversation, I had forgotten how good and holy it truly is to be in person with someone that can restore your body, mind, and spirit. Last night when driving on the road, I even forgot to turn on the road named Forgotten. There is so much to remember these days. Wear a mask, social distance, wash or sanitize your hands quite often. And when visiting a family or a business or even another state, it is respectful to learn the rules and to follow them while visiting. We often can feel like the businesses in our community. We feel like we're operating at a 50% capacity and wonder when we will be 100% again. Can we truly operate at 50, 60, or 70% for a long period of time? And if I cannot remember my wallet, am I truly able to remember to lead someone to God's love? Isaiah helps us to remember. His words in chapter 40 are very familiar to us. He says, have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint and strengthens the powerless. Even youths will faint and grow weary and the young will fall exhausted. But those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not grow weary. They shall walk and not faint. <clears throat> Isaiah is sharing these words with the Israelites, not at the beginning of their story during the Exodus, but during the exile when they feel forgotten. And he is reminding them of the story. The Israelites have always been good at telling their story to future generations. They remind them to tell the story in the morning, end the day with the story, share the story within your home, post it on your forehead or, or even at the entrance of your door. In high holy celebrations like the Passover, tell the story of God's love. Isaiah is helping them to remember the story. Often in crisis, our memory lapses, and God knows that our memory starts to be filled with fear rather than faith. Isaiah helps us to remember that God is the creator. He is eternal. He does not grow tireless in his love for creation. And when we are exhausted, he extends his strength to us all. My prayer for us today is that we are to give ourselves and others a little grace when we forget and that we would remember God's amazing story of love found in Christ Jesus our Lord and that we would make new steps that are found in renewed strength in our Lord who may even allow us to fly like the eagles. Take care and I look forward to seeing you soon.